Everybody and greeting is in the name of Jesus Christ. My name is Joe Caleb. Uh, that is my God-given name. Um, about seven years ago, well, this is for people who, who have never heard the voice of God. I'll just tell you what happened to me, uh, and I can't say what he will do, but I can tell you what happened to me. About seven years ago, I had been baptized about four years earlier, and I was in a really bad place. I was in a relationship that broke up. I was very depressed. So somebody told me to pray the Psalms. So I did. I opened the Bible. I started praying the Psalms. I got on my knees and I prayed the Psalms for three whole days. Okay, so three whole days praying the Psalms. I got up after those three days and I put in earplugs. I laid down to take a nap. And it's the first time that the Lord ever spoke to me. He said, stay patient. And I was like, you know, and he spoke to me in the ear that was on the pillow with an earplug in. He said, stay patient. So that's when he started speaking to me. And after that, I had two visions. Um, one was of Jesus praying for me. It was like a flash vision in front of my eyes. The other one was of the throne of God. And that's uh, in a video on my, uh, on my channel. You can watch that if you want. I'll probably redo that. I don't think it's very good. Anyways, so that's how he started talking to me. And like I said, I, I don't know if he will, but that's what he did to me. So it won't hurt to try. Now, that said, uh, I want to talk about how important it is to be obedient to the Lord. My neighbor had been keeping me up on the weekends for months. The night before yesterday night, they woke me up at 1.30 a.m. and we're still at it at 4.30 a.m. I heard them over there about bedtime, 9.30 p.m., and I immediately jumped to the, conclu the conclusion that they were going to be partying all night. The Lord said, talk to them. I just kind of ignored it and called security. The girl knocked on my door and was really nice. She was just hanging out with her mom. I felt really bad. This is a good example of why we should always heed the Lord's instructions. I'm thankful for this lesson in which I got to learn was something that's not very significant. I was convicted, though. I felt really bad. Um, and I wrote, tell them about the pizza. Uh, you know, I got called, and he started giving me prophecies about a year ago, but it really picked up about seven months ago when he took me out of my job. So he speaks to me one or two words at a time, and uh, he speaks to me from outside of the dimension of time. See, this is the only way that he could do it to where I know that it's God, because whoever's speaking to me is outside of time, because I write down everything he says. It's usually when I'm on bed and in bed at night, and I write down everything he says, and then I got to get into it later. If I have a question, I look at what he, all the things he's told me, and he will have the answer to my question. He will tell me things from the future, just answers to like my questions or things that don't make sense at the time, but later it's revealed. For instance, about three months ago, I was laying in the bed, and he said, "Move the pizza or move that pizza," and I was like, "Move that pizza? What? Is, you know, I don't understand." Uh, so I'm like, what, am I just going to see a pizza somewhere? So I'm walking down the street a couple of days later. Excuse me. And there was a pizza in the sidewalk. So I moved it. <laughs> I, I have no idea why. Maybe it was just a test. He does that a lot. But, um, yeah, I hope this is a blessing to you. And, and try that. Try praying the Psalms for three days and keep seeking him. Never give up. Eventually you will find him if you seek him with all your heart. Eventually you will find him. Never give up. Seek the Lord. Seek the Lord. Seek the Lord. Acknowledge him in all your ways, and he will direct your paths. Father, I thank you for this calling. I thank you for the calling of my life. I pray for wisdom. I pray for knowledge, and I pray that I would edify and bless those who view this video. Um, in Jesus' name I pray. Thank you. Amen.